hello and good morning guys it has been an interesting few days i got struck with another migraine but that's okay because we're feeling better today we're not 100 percent today but we are doing better so i'm back to filming and so sorry i missed a few videos this past week i'm hoping to aim to have this up by saturday that is the goal so we shall see i'm drinking gatorade which is normally not my drink of choice i'm usually a pure water drinker or coffee every now and then I had a little episode yesterday, which was not a fun time. I thought taking a shower would help my migraine, make me feel refreshed. Um, plus I just honestly, I needed to shower. So uh, I think I overheated in the shower. I almost passed out. I was yelling for Larry. I ended up plopping on the bathroom floor and he had to towel me off, dry me off. It was just, it was just not a good thing. So I'm assuming I over or over overheated and I'm assuming I was also possibly dehydrated from the migraine and not drinking enough even though I thought I was I tried so we're having a Gatorade again today that's how we're starting off our day actually I just had to take mom actually Larry did the driving we took mom to a little procedure not so little she gets back injections but you guys are familiar with that I've spoken about that before so she had one this morning so she's going to be staying with us for a little bit today and we're just gonna hang out together and have a casual day. I have so much to do, guys, but I know I can't push myself to do them today because my migraines always last about three days. Today is day three. So it's a very like subtle, if I move too quickly, it'll come back. In the car ride, it was starting to come back because of the bright sun. But it is currently Tuesday as I'm filming this, and one of my best friends is arriving in town on Sunday and I have to clean the guest bedroom. So there's gonna be a couple cleaning and organizing videos coming up, which I know you guys love, I know you'd be excited about, because we need to bust this out because we have so much to do, not enough time to do it. I need to go to the grocery store and pick up some like pregnancy things that I'm eating that it's all I really want to eat. So I'll talk to you guys about that probably in the next video. But today we're gonna to take it chill, we're gonna take it casual and just kind of see what we get up to trying to stay hydrated with both water and Gatorade. Not exactly thrilled with the sugar, but I gotta do what I gotta do. It's necessary for right now. So we're also gonna be making a nice nutritious meal. My mom's getting ready to come inside. She's visiting with the kitties out on the lanai and we're probably gonna put on a cozy movie and relax for a little bit. Larry has just gotten back from Publix. He's picked up a few things. I'm talking quietly because my mom is napping on the couch. Got I'm going to show you guys. things and I didn't get everything, so I have to go back. Poor Larry. <laughs> I feel bad. Well, it's not the wrong things, but it's, it's okay, honey. I made sure he's eating before he goes back out. But anyways, I forgot one of mom's requests. But <laughs> she doesn't know it yet. We don't have to get it, though. Probably the request. The main request. Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> Do any of us really need that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to show you what I, what Larry picked up. Broccoli cheddar soup from Publix. I've not tried their brand yet, so we'll see how that is. And then Larry's been making like these at home open face turkey sandwiches. So he got some roasted chicken and turkey gravy. Chicken balls, his turkey, and his bread. I open, I don't know, what did I say? I thought you said roast beef. We still have that garland up there. We have to get totes for that. We'll do that this week. Yeah. Open, did I say roast beef sandwiches? I meant open turkey face sandwiches. I could be wrong. I don't know. I probably said it wrong. Um, we have pineapple, some blueberry scones, beef jerky. This we didn't pick up tonight. This is actually from... Green Chef, I'm gonna be making it for dinner tonight. I'm very, very excited about that. So that is thawing and also got some bananas. Hi, Nuna, I see you. What do you smell up there that you think you want? Huh? What do you smell? Not Krispy Kreme donuts. Not Krispy Kreme donuts. Hi, baby. It's laundry time, fun stuff. <laughs> oh, you already put them in there. Thanks, babe. He is. He's the best man. He is a good one, Mom, isn't he? I wasn't the best man. I was the groom. You were the groom. All right, so this is a mixed load. I only have one load of laundry. We're mixing brights, lights, darks. 
and everything in between. Yeah, this is too difficult. We're just about to dump this thing in there. Go, laundry, go. There we go. So, we're watching Emily in Paris, and Larry has just brought the donuts. Mom went for a traditional glaze, and I'm going for this cute... I think the glazed or the chocolate glazed. Don't eat my donut. <laughs> Which one are you going after? Chocolate. Yeah. That looks like universal. Yeah, it does. Yay! Mark Simpson, the donuts. So the cashier asked me if I'm having a good day, and I said, well, I was here earlier <laughs> specifically to get these darn donuts, and I forgot the donuts. <laughs> so obviously you can see I picked up some other things while I've come back with the donuts. <laughs> and she goes, really? You had to come back for donuts? And I said, yeah. She goes, who was complaining, the wife or the kids? I said, the wife and the mother-in-law. She goes, oh, you poor man. <laughs> oh, you poor man. <laughs> Oh my god. We're not complaining. We fault. love our Larry. Not that I'd be I could have got him the first time and I didn't. But we appreciate it. We do appreciate and you, honey. you know honey. what? Because I didn't, I found the Stroop waffles on sale, so I got two boxes. Lexi, settle down. Lexi. It is time to make ourselves some dinner and I'm going to be making a salmon with lemon caper sauce. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Green Chef. You guys know I've worked with them last year and I am gonna be working with them again this year, which I'm very excited about. If you guys are unfamiliar with Green Chef, Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with options for a variety of lifestyles such as keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, fast and fit, and Mediterranean for those who want simply a little more balance. All of your ingredients from Green Chef come straight to your door in a nice little package so everything is together. All the ingredients are pre-measured so you know exactly how much you're getting and how to use them. They come with simple directions on the back of your pamphlet. Go to greenchef.us mindyminx130 and use code mindyminx130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. You can switch up your meals at any time such as from keto to vegetarian if you want to try something different which is really fun. All right guys, let's give it a try, shall we? This, by the way, the butternut squash, apparently I need a sharper peeler because peeling it could not be done. I had to shave it down with a knife, which was probably not the safest thing to do, but it got the job done. Hmm. I don't know why I don't roast butternut squash more because it is so good. It did call for some tomatoes. I decided not to add those. So do know with these meals, you can customize them. If you don't want to add something, you don't have to add something. But they give you the options. Very good. A plus. All right, guys, if you want to give them a try, don't forget to use my code, which, again, I'm going to read it straight from my phone. Go to greenchef.us mindyminx130 and use code mindyminx130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. And Green Chef, thank you so much for working with me and sponsoring today's video. I am still not feeling that great. It's getting worse as the day is progressing, but we are here and I figured Larry and I would answer a couple of questions. I know you guys have a lot of questions because I've been seeing them and so we're going to answer a few on Instagram. Do you want to pick Larry? No, you pick. Okay. Hi, Nuna. Do you think that you and Larry will have a difference in raising the baby? I'm sure we'll have differences, but that's why you communicate and we would talk about those differences and hopefully come to a uh, yeah, an agreement. An agreement. Yes, precisely. I think it's, it, to simplify things, it's whatever is best for the baby. Yeah. So, it's parenting, I would assume, you know. Yeah. I'm sure every parent does not agree 100% of the time. So, but no, I think we'll we'll do just fine. It gets dicey when they're older because they play <laughs> pick a parent. Yeah. I asked dad. He said no. So now I'm going to go hurry up and ask mom. That was a big no-no in my household growing up. Mm. My brother got away with that all the time. Not me. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. First, how are you feeling? Headache, pregnancy, ETC. You know, I was feeling really, really great <laughs> until now. <laughs> She's a mess. I have just this 
migraine, which is normal for me. I get those, so I really can't complain. But honestly, it has been really wonderful. I haven't had any nausea. That has been amazing, except day one of migraine, I started coughing and I literally did the the gag reflex had initiated and I started busting up laughing though, which was a funny response because I'm like, oh my God, I just almost threw up in bed next to Larry, not realizing it was going to happen. Anyways, I've been fine up until very recently. It's getting Saturday worse today. Night. Yeah. It's been ongoing since Saturday night and today is Tuesday. Headache. So yeah, pounding headache. Migraine, it went away and now I have pounding headache, but I really cannot complain. It has been wonderful so far. Are you doing a nursery? And if so, do you have a theme picked out? Yes. And yes, for the most part, like we're kind of still treading, like we're not exactly 100% sure. Yeah, we're not gonna go full blown crazy nursery. It's gonna be nice, kind of subdued, baby. Very neutral yeah. is what we're going for. I don't want something that's super intense that we're gonna have to redo in like two years time. So very neutral. Baby bump, not yet, just bloated, <laughs> so, which is always, so I don't notice anything that looks any different yet, but I am taking weekly pictures, at least trying to. I missed the seven week. I got a six week and eight week. Nine week is coming up this Friday, so we will see. My mom's peeking in at us. Will you be revealing baby's gender? So this is one of the most popular questions, and yes, we will be revealing the baby's gender. I don't know when, probably, Everybody it normally finds out is probably when, when does everybody normally find out? Is that 12 weeks, 12 week scan or nine weeks? I think you can get blood work done. Mm. I don't know, we'll figure out something. We'll definitely be doing a gender reveal and letting you guys know soon. Do you want to let them know soon or do you want to wait till birth? No, we should let them know. Yeah, we'll let you guys know. I, I could not wait until birth. I couldn't do it. Could you? You probably could. Yeah, I probably could. I, I could not. I'm like one of those people if somebody's like... That's how I did it in the old days. That's true. If somebody said, hey, I need to talk, but it can't be now, I'd be like, it has to be now. <laughs> I will not make it through. When is your due date? You know that is something that we have never announced. You didn't announce it? I've never announced our actual due date. So our actual due date is August 19th. AUG19. Isn't that cute? It's the day before my best friend Angela's birthday, by the way, too, which is really awesome. Are you nervous about giving birth? Honestly, no, not yet. I also feel though like it is so far away, but in reality, it's really not. I was answering some emails actually that have to do with July and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be eight months pregnant in July and the baby is gonna be coming any minute by then. So in reality, it's probably a lot closer, but in my head, I'm like, Got time. I'm not really nervous yet. Ask me again soon. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. Not at all? Mm -mm. This man doesn't really get nervous. He's Mr. Calm. He's had a lot of practice though. Mm. Don't you think in your career? Yeah. What's the one thing you are most looking forward to in pregnancy? I think actually having a bump and feeling the baby kick or move for the first time, I think will be the most exciting thing. Yeah. I want to see the, the kick and the, the moves and feel it. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Aww. I've been looking over your shoulder and I've seen a couple of them. Where have you guys started picking out names yet? <laughs> I just saw those two and now, gosh, what's your take on that? Uh, we have about a one page filled up for a young lady and mm -hmm. about half a page filled up for a young man. Yep. It's difficult guys, isn't it? It's like once you start thinking, oh my gosh, it's their forever name. It's, it's difficult. I do not think we will announce the name until baby is born. Mm. I think that's the way we would do it. Now with a cute little introduction on, I don't know, where would we post first? I don't know, probably Instagram, honestly, because it'd be harder to do a YouTube video. I don't even know if we're gonna oh, film the birth. I don't know how that works. You should probably post on Instagram because a lot of people don't have Instagram. You should post that you're going to make an announcement on YouTube and yeah. then do that. I know, but it's hard to like get a video out, especially, I'm th we are thinking way ahead, aren't we? Aren't we guys? We still have time. 
P.S. I have a feeling it's a girl. Aw, that's so cute. There's a lot of people that have a feeling it's a boy based on my symptoms and based on the food that I said I was eating. I saw a lot of it's a boy comments. And there are a lot of it's a girl comments as well. So it seems to be split 50-50. Well, back in the day before modern medicine, they used to say, oh, you're carrying low. It's going to be a girl. Oh, you're carrying... <laughs> it, it, it's... The, no. 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 Is that a wi old wives' tale? Yeah, because people would go out and spend a fortune painting their room pink and putting all kind of frilly stuff in it, and then the baby comes up and it's a Oh, girl. my gosh. Rut row raggy. Yeah. That's why gender neutral is the way to go. A lot of people are asking about the baby's gender and when we're announcing. That is pretty much the main question. What are you most excited for about becoming a mom? I don't know. Seeing... A child experience childhood through their eyes I guess and teaching them about life and love and family traditions and just watching them grow into their own little personal human I think would be the cutest mm -hmm. thing ever to see their personalities form I just I don't know I think that that's it for me what's the uh, buddy the elf's girlfriend and wife's name on elf oh um, oh Oh, I know it. Oh, God. Why am I brain farting? Because I don't feel good. What is it called? What's is she called? It? Josie. Jovi. No, what's her real name? Oh. I know that, too, and I can't think of it. Is it? Shante Deschanel. Deschanel. Something Deschanel. Chloe. Is it Zoe? Zoe Deschanel. That's fun to say. More fun than Francisco. What's your point? Well, I'm thinking back to that last question. With, uh, <laughs> it could be... Zoe de Chanel. Oh, First with name, the names. Last name and, yeah. Okay, with the names. We're going back to the names. Yeah, Zoe's a cute name. Zoe de Chanel. That sounds that is such a fancy name. Yeah. My hair is wicked. Please do pardon me today, guys. I'm so sorry. Mine too. <laughs> no, really, I only have two. What's your baby's heart rate? Our Ooh. last check, baby's heart rate was 153. 150, yeah, 150 something. I think it was 153. Was our just shy under an eight week scan. And then my, oh, I booked, well, I'll tell you guys about that in the next video because this video is already getting longer, I'm sure. I'll tell you guys about that next, next video. What is it? When will nursery transform and take place? Great question. So currently we need to clear out that room because like I said, my best friend Hillary is coming this weekend and we gotta get it all cleared out for her because right now we have some holiday decor and then we have our friend Peter coming to stay with us soon. You guys know Peter. And then we also have Jackie and Bob coming to stay. Keep collecting. Yes, in March. So after March, essentially, then everything is kind of going to transform in that room, we're hoping. I just saw one. How do you, we decide to who's going to do what house chores? I just read that, too. Yeah. We yeah. Yeah. Didn't, did we? No. We just kind of do things, and if I need help with something, then I'll ask Larry if he can help me with the dishes while I added a video, or if Larry needs help with something, he'll say, hey, Mink, can you help me with this? Or Yeah, I take the garbage out, because you don't need to deal with that. And uh, <laughs> He's very gentleman-like. I take care of the litter box, because she's oh, not yeah. allowed to do the litter box. A lot of people were concerned that I was cleaning the litter box. Yeah. I have ceased... I'm cleaning the litter box no, since no. December 1st on yeah. the date of embryo transfer. Trust me, my fertility clinic is, was hot on it with the rules list. <laughs> no litter box for you. No litter box. Um, yeah, so Larry kind of pulls, he does the weeding. He does the... All the outside all stuff. All the outside stuff, and I do a lot of the inside stuff, but Larry helps me as well. Yeah, I run the vacuum if she can't run it. Yeah, I'm lucky to have I such a sweet dishes. man. For sure. Throw some laundry in, but she usually does the laundry. I try and help her fold the He stuff. has been helping me fold lately. It's a lot of fun. Mm. We catch up. <laughs> That's funny. Do we sound like an old married couple? <laughs> we do. He helps me fold the laundry. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We catch up on stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Guys, you pretty much are doing great at asking all very similar questions. So we've pretty much asked or answered the most popular questions. And I am down to the bottom of the list. She hasn't bought any maternity clothes yet. No, not yet. Because she's not quite there yet. No, not there yet. But I feel like one one day it's just I'm gonna it's gonna be happening. But she's asking a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. 
you guys filled me in on a lot of places to get leggings and stuff like that because I have no time to wear jeans. <laughs> I just cannot be bothered. I might even start wearing dresses. We'll see. Getting me in a dress is <laughs> like, I don't know, that never happens. Anyways, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to try and um, edit this video tomorrow. I'm going to keep wearing jeans. You are. You're a jeans man. Mm -hmm. I hope I can edit this video tomorrow and have it up for you guys by Saturday. Prayers. <sighs> and there might be more missed videos because I don't feel the greatest, and I'm so sorry about that. But but in the meantime, I miss you guys. Thank you to everyone that made all those wonderful comments on my video. <gasps> yeah, you guys went and viewed Larry's video and my dad's video, which was super sweet. So how did you en enjoy doing your video again for the first time in over a year? Over a year. Over a year, I over know. Year. Sorry about that. Oh, look it at that. Was, it was kind of... A little bit nervous at first. I wouldn't say nervous. It was just kind of... Is that why you tried to shut the door? No. I couldn't hear you? No. no. You were. You had your your ear thingies in, and I figured yeah, I'm going to be talking, and you don't want to hear me talk. you got to listen to what you're doing. No, I really enjoyed listening to mm. you, actually. Yeah, I'm not you. I don't make you leave the house when I do a video. That's when I first started YouTube. <laughs> I used to hide myself in a room, shut the door, turn on music in the house, and then kick Larry out of the house because I was so embarrassed to, like speak to a camera like I kid you not it was a thing so if you're worried about filming and starting a channel don't worry you will get there it'll all be okay talk to the camera it's just you and the camera <laughs> that's true and then once you do all the editing and take what's in the camera and put it on that's when it's viewed by thousands and thousands of people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're in the comfort of your own home watching a rerun on tv when all those people are looking at your new video that's true mm -hmm. Oh, all right, guys. We love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your lovely comments. Thank you for being very understanding that I haven't been feeling the best. And I love you guys, and we will see you again very soon. You're a sicko. <laughs> what is that movie? You're a sicko. I don't know. Somebody said that in a movie. Mm. I don't know. I don't Okay. Wait. <gasps> you sicko. Isn't it The Grinch? Might be The Grinch. I think it's The Grinch. All right. Mm. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.